today I am finally going to be filming my Birchbox versus Ipsy. I've been waiting on my Ipsy bag for such a long time. I don't know what happened this month. I usually have this video filmed, edited, and uploaded by now. But my Ipsy bag took way too long to get here. I've had my Birchbox for like two weeks. And I know what's inside it and I know it's amazing so it's been really hard to not open it but I did it. First world problems. <laughs> but I held out and I'm ready to open it right now and I'm so excited so I'm not going to talk anymore and we're just going to dig in. You guys, this is the most beautiful box I've ever seen in my life. And it's like that all the way around. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so, like I've said in the last two months, I have picked the exclusive box of the month. So if you sign up for Birchbox, which if you want to, if you don't already, you absolutely should, I will have my sign up link down below. But once you sign up, once a month they send you an email, usually either towards like the very end of the month, or the, the very beginning of the month asking you to choose either a sample or you have the option to get the exclusive box of the month which means it shows you everything that comes in it um, and it's I've never done it before these past few months that I've done it but now that I have done it I can't stop doing it because they're amazing so they had the Mad Men themed box and you could either get LA or New York and I picked the New York box because there was something inside that I deeply wanted to try but then everything else just was amazing so I got this box but oh my god look how gorgeous it is like I'm going to store something in this box because it's so pretty but I'm so excited let's open it up enough chattering so here's an overview nothing too exciting yet let's start with this this is the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. You guys know that I love to get eye creams as a sample because, I don't know, I just, that's something I go through quickly and I don't like to spend my money on it really, so it's fun to try out different things. This is a huge size sample for an eye cream. That's amazing. It's the, did I already say what it is? Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. Naturally active ingredients, blah 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 blah. So amazing. Oh wait, it's not even a, oh, it's like a liquid. It smell, well that smells like something from my childhood and I like it. It has a very light, weird scent, but it doesn't smell bad. But this is a, um, a liquid lotion, so it says apply to a cotton wool pad and sweep over eyelids and lashes to soothe and refresh tired, puffy eyes. So this would be cool to use in the morning. That sounds like it would feel really nice. <gasps> I'm so excited. I've heard a lot of good things about Liz Earl. Why can't I say that? I've heard a lot of good things about Liz Earl, so I'm excited to try something, and um, this is an amazing size sample. Let us read. It says, This cooling lotion uses ultra-calming botanicals to soothe, refresh, and depuff tired eyes. After a marathon day, say on Madison Avenue, sweep over closed eyes with a cotton ball. And the full size of this is $25. So, very excited to try this. We'll probably try it today. And, uh, yeah. This seriously might be the best birch box I've ever gotten. I haven't even finished going through it, but, like, just glancing at the card is refreshing me of why I got this box, and I'm so excited. This is the Wish Shave Cream, which... It's in the shade, not the shade, the flavor, not the flavor, the scent, blueberry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's in the scent blueberry, and I have tried some stuff from Wish before. I got something from Wish last month, which I haven't really, like, fully used yet. It's the almond body butter. I used one of their body butters before, and I knew I liked it, so whenever I see the Wish brand, I'm, like, into trying it. And this just seems so interesting, and also an amazing travel size if I am going to be doing any traveling, because shave cream is not something you want to travel with. I just use the conditioner and call it a day. But I deep want to smell this. I keep using the word deeply. That's not a word I use often. Oh, it smells like blueberries. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this bag, box, whatever it is. Let us read. It says, a shea butter packed shaving cream and an exclusive blueberry scent. Apply to legs, armpits, or bikini line before shaving, then ditch long sleeves and tights. <laughs> and the full size of this is $20. So that's kind of expensive for a shave cream, but I will totally try this. I'm interested to see like how moisturizing it is compared to my skin intimate ones that I love, but um, it's an amazing sample regardless, and I'm definitely gonna give it a shot either now or during a vacation. Oh, this was hiding. This is why I got this box. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which I've heard so much about. I have really become obsessed with her uh, brow whiz in taupe. That's what I used to fill in my eyebrows. Um, and I freaking love it. And I've heard that this stuff is just like super glue and I'm so excited to try it out. So when I saw this, at first I thought this was a mascara sample, which I'm glad I like read the like the in-depth details because it wasn't and that's what like sold me on this box so I really cannot wait to try this. I've been like scooping the last of my Milani Clear Brow Gel for the last couple days so I'm excited to throw that in the empties bin and give this a shot. The full size of this is $22 and it says get professionally polished brows with this translucent gel rich in botanical conditioners. Brush onto brow 
brows and direction of hair growth where alone or over your favorite pencil. I will be wearing it over my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, and I can't wait. Next, we have the little pouch, which is a cool teal mint green color. Um, oh, I'll, this is the greatest box ever. Holy crap. <laughs> this I have used before, and I'm eventually going to buy the full-sized bottle of it, but I'm Ugh, I get so many hair oil samples in these subscription boxes that I'm trying to use them up before I buy something, but this also helped sell on this box. This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Oil. This stuff smells like the Pink Sugar Perfume, which is one of my favorite perfumes. It smells like vanilla. I love this oil for my hair. You guys know I'm a huge fan of oils in my hair, and this one is one of my favorites I've ever tried. So, like I said, at some point I will be purchasing the full size, but until that day, I'm excited to have another little sample of it. The full size of this is $25.95, so not cheap for a hair oil, but worth it. And it says, this hair oil protects against UV rays and heat while keeping your hairstyle Park Avenue sleek. Work one to three drops into damp hair to, or to the ends of dry hair. Perfect for all hair types. I'm loving all the New York puns in here. So yeah, there's that. We'll be used immediately. And then last but not least, it's also freaking amazing and really, really teeny and cute. It's a cargo blush, but it's sealed, so hold on, let me open it. So there's a miniature cargo blush, which I love cargo blushes. My mom gave me one a while ago. I still have it, and I used it when I was doing, um, whenever I do a show, I use a cargo blush because they, I can't get this freaking open. They just last really well if I'm like sweating or dancing on stage. So this is a cargo water resistant blush in Los Cabos. So pretty. This is like my kind of color too. Um, Oh man, it's just kind of like a coral peachy nice color for um, spring, which I'm super excited about. And how tiny and cute is this blush? This would be perfect to keep in your little purse or something. Oh my god. This birch box is giving me everything right now. This is totally an Amy blush color and I can't wait to try it. Oh my lord. I hope you guys got this box as well because it is freaking amazing. <laughs> this says it's the Swimmables water resistant blush in Los Cabos. Okay, so now I get it. It's like waterproof. So hello! summer vacation, I'm totally going to use this when I go to North Carolina. This waterproof pigment stays put even through a three martini lunch. <laughs> that makes me feel like Carrie Bradshaw. Sweep onto apples of cheeks and along cheekbones for all day, any weather, wear. So excited. You guys, I don't even need to open my Ipsy bag to let you know that this Birchbox won life today. Um, it won all Birchboxes I've ever gotten in my entire life and I... Can you tell how I'm like dying? <laughs> but regardless, we are going to open the Ipsy bag and this is very packed full because I did order some of like the point perks because they've been on their game lately with the point perks and if I, if I see anything I kind of like, I get it because I have all these points saved up but I'm never like super happy with their selection so I pass on most things but there is a benefit thing in here which I'm super excited about. I'm very chatty today, can you tell? <laughs> oh, and I didn't know it was full size. I thought it was going to be a miniature size. This is a cha-cha tint from Benefit, which I have their lolly tint and I really, really like it. I really thought this was going to be a miniature size. It is a full size. Damn. Thanks, Ipsy. This is one of their more like orangey, corally colors. Um, I like these for lip stains, but I, they also are for like cheek stains as well. Um, but I love my lolly tint. So when I saw this, I wanted to give it a try. I don't think I've ever tried the cha-cha tint in any of the like products it comes in. Oh, but that's nice. Can you see that right there? Just a subtle, kind of shim some shimmer. <laughs> kind of similar to that shade, but like not. Very pretty, cool. That looks like not too scary to try as a cheek tint. I am too pumped right now. Oh, I got a sample of the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes because I already have like two of these, but it's one of my favorite mascaras and they had it for a point perk and I had the point, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get another one, save them up. I have way too many mascaras, but I got that as well. Thought I got more point perks than that, but they must be coming in the next box, but that's okay. I'm very pleased with that cha-cha tint. This month's bag is kind of interesting. It looks like this. It feels very nice. It feels like a woven basket, which I guess is what it's supposed to look like. It's, what is this theme? I don't even know. Did it come with a card? Beautiful bow. Bohemian, so it's like hippie chic, and that's very cool. It's a cool bag. Um, I don't, uh, it's not my favorite, but um, I just love that the Ipsy comes with the bag in general each month. Now, I did sneak peek this, and there was something I really wanted that I didn't get, and now I forgot what it was. Oh well. <laughs> but I'm not in love with what I got in my Ipsy bag this month, but hopefully, once I like actually touch things and play with it, I'll feel better. First thing I'm not crazy about is a Jessie's Girl nail polish, which probably just gonna give to my sister because I haven't been too impressed with the Jessie's Girl um, range of stuff and I'm very picky when it comes to nail polish and I have a million pinks so I'm just gonna pass this on to my sister but if you're into nail polish and you like this brand it's a nice pink and it's like a good size I mean any size nail polish is a good size because you're not gonna use it up immediately so there's that next is a star looks 
This looks like it could be an eyeshadow, cream stick, or lip gloss. So let's open it and find out. But you see what I mean? Like it looks like it could be either color, like a eyeshadow or <laughs> lip gloss. <laughs> Maybe I should look it up before I decide and put eyeshadow on my lips. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is. I'm going to assume lip gloss because that's what it smells like and it's kind of sticky or like that. Very glittery. Are you going to be able to see that? Probably not. It smells nice. It's a very teeny sample. I've heard a lot of good stuff about Star Looks. I like their, um, I always get really good eyeliner colors from Star Looks. Um, and they have like their own box. I watch JM Beauty 89 which you guys, you guys, the last time I mentioned her in a video, a bunch of you went and subscribed to her and like left in the comments that I like sent you there and then she like commented on one of my videos and I died. <laughs> but anyways, I watch her unbox the Star Looks box that they send to her and that looks fun so I will definitely give this a try. Lip gloss aren't really my, lip gloss isn't really my cup of tea when it comes to lip products but um, we'll see. If not, Katie gets another thing. Katie's my sister. Next is this Lather Ultra Light Face Lotion, a non-greasy everyday moisturizer, clean skin for a radiant life. Um, so this is a face moisturizer. <laughs> Let me give it a whiff. Now I don't like to change up the moisturizer in my skincare routine too much because I really happen to love the one I use at night and the one I use in the morning. I cannot get this peely thing off. Oops. Oh, we got a little bit out with the sample, so we'll try it out on the wrist. It does feel nice. It feels kind of similar to my simple everyday um, moisturizer that I use in the morning. Oh, that, sm that smells really nice. That smell would entice me to try this. So what I'm probably going to do is put this in my overnight bag because I spend the night at my boyfriend's a lot and you always need skincare there. So I will probably just throw that in the overnight bag and try it then. But um, it feels like a really nice moisturizer and it smells amazing. It's a little sticky, but we'll see if that uh, dries up by the end of the video. But um, yeah, that is very cool. Nice sample size. This one I was intrigued by. It's the All Natural Tinted Handmade Vegan Moulin and Sparrow. Uh, there's a lot of tiny writing on this, I apologize. A light tinted balm to give lips and cheeks a slight flush and dewy finish. Ooh, and look, these are like the same size. Cute twins. Okay, so let's open this. It's kind of a terrifying color. Um, ooh! Oh, it's a very light tint. Let's just go ahead. Mmm, it smells, it smells like chocolate. Is that normal? Smells weird, but it also smells good. See, it's like a very glossy, light, dewy tint. Feels nice. We'll see how I feel about that smell and taste in my mouth. But that's cool. I'm hating, hating the way it tastes. Oh my god. Maybe we'll try that on the cheeks, but maybe not on the lips. Whew. Gonna wipe that off. Well, we'll try that on the cheeks because I didn't like the way it tasted, but... Um, Cool sample in general. I like the way it looks and the and this design, so there's that. <laughs> and this was really the only thing I was excited for. This is the Bomb Nude Dude palette. It's not the entire palette, it's just a mini nude eyeshadow. Oh, and I got the color I wanted. This is in the color Flirty. You'll be able to see in the close-up, it's a naked man. Actually, he's not naked. He's, naked. he's wearing a towel. I have the nude Tude palette from the bomb and I really really love it mainly for the packaging But now they came out with the nude dude, which I wanted but I was like trying to resist But now I get to taste a little bit of it. So I am excited and these, I love the bomb Their products are so good and so cute. So very excited about that. This is kind of like a oh a very nice color that I wasn't expecting Holy hell, I like that color a lot. It looks like a bronze in the pan, but then when you put it on, that's the weirdest place I chose to swatch. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's not any better. See, it's kind of like a bronzy lavender almost. It has a purple tint to it, and I'm all about that. I'm very excited about that. I'm even more excited than I thought I was gonna be. So cool. All right, guys, do we even need to vote? Because we know Birchbox won. It is maybe the greatest Birchbox I've ever gotten of all time and I am pumped about it. I cannot wait to use all this stuff. I'm excited to try some of my Ipsy stuff but not as excited as the Birch Box. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys got in your boxes and bags this month. Let me know if you got what I got, if you got the LA box, let me know what you got in there. And let's just chat in the comments. It's my favorite to do on these videos because I'd like to know what you guys got so I can be jealous. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a really good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Peace out and uh, yeah. Bye!